Okay everyone, welcome back to the channel for another video on Gran Turismo 7 and I am back with some Daily Race B action from this week's new Daily Races. We are at Fuji, we are in Group 4 and we are on Racing Hard Tires and as you can see there, we have one of the biggest villains of Gran Turismo, I think we can call him, Kimi Velocini. He is possibly the most annoying player on the game in my personal opinion. He just loves to cause chaos and basically just likes to cause a lot of mayhem in every single race that he's in but we're going to give him the benefit of the doubt like i always do i will try and race fair with him if he's willing to race fair we'll race fair with him and even after what you see in this video if he wants to race fair i will quite happily race fair with him but if he's going to carry on being stupid in these races pd have done nothing about him at the end of the day i'm so unsure as to why he's still in this game because there are reports that he has been banned and he's bought a new ps5 to allow him to play that is what people are saying, but I'm so confused how he's still allowed to continue playing on this game because all he does is he tries to cause trouble and we know the rules of the sport mode. We know that you can get banned because we've had other people banned from the game. Claxon, you might not have seen him for a long time because he's probably been banned from the game after what he was doing. But yeah, Kimi up in the front here, you can see in the distance there, he started in P3, he's already lost a position. I think he's down to P4. We're having a little look up the inside here. Decided to back out of that because they didn't want to run Costas wide. But then the car behind, obviously, not predicting that we're going to lift a little bit to give the car space. It gives us a little shunt up the rear. But I don't think that was anything deliberate. I think that was Mario just making a little mistake there. You can see he's actually gone wide here and keeping the car to the right-hand side to give us a space on the inside. But another McLaren there going very wide. We're going to go up the inside. And now we're going to go side by side with these cars on the right. We're going to go quite deep into this corner to try and widen the exit and give ourselves better acceleration now. You can see we're gonna get in that slipstream and pick up Mario's slipstream on the right-hand side. So let's see if we can push forward in this first race that we're gonna show you. We started from the back, obviously, no real lap time set, just going from the back and hopefully making progress. However, when you have a driver like Kimi at the front, you know that all hell is probably gonna break loose and anything is gonna happen in this race. So we're gonna do a little fake on Mario there, putting the car up the inside, breaking as late as we can, and nicely done up into P10. So move succeeded, and now we can see Kimmy just about there in the distance. You can see him right there where the arrow is pointing. He's in front of this group of cars. Now, that is normally a very bad sign. If he's lost positions and he's faded away from the lead, he's probably just gonna cause absolute mayhem. So keep an eye on the action as we work our way through here, and we'll go back to the cockpit view, or the bumper view as we call it, and we can see Kimmy just out there in the lead at the moment. And at the moment, the racing's reasonable. There's not too much chaos going on, really. People are driving quite respectful. Now, one thing I've learned is when Kimmy starts causing chaos, it frustrates people and people then get dirtier and it all becomes chaotic because people get frustrated and they get very angry. And yeah, it just becomes a nightmare. So we're gonna go a really nice move around the outside there. Have a little look up the inside here for a move, but I'm gonna back out of that. Not really in a position to go for a move there, but that was a lovely move around the outside of that corner to put ourselves up into P9. Now, this is the start of where Kimmy's gonna start his fun and games, because he has a tendency to brake check people, because he knows that he won't get a penalty for a brake check. Don't ask me why you do not get a penalty, but watch his brakes. He's gonna go on the brakes there, and he's gonna start pushing people wide of the corner. And now he's gonna go for P8 here. You can see he's gonna try and send him off the track. Luckily, he doesn't succeed at that. Now, at this point, I'm thinking, when do I go for I'm gonna try and go down the left. I go to go to the left, he breaks and goes to the left, and he's gonna break check us right in the middle of the straight. Now, again, how PD don't understand that we're on a straight, an acceleration zone, and the car in front has brake checked the car behind and gave damage, the braking inputs have gone on in the middle of a straight, and he hasn't got a penalty beyond me, but yeah, PD needs to get on top of that one. It's really frustrating, and you can see here, He's still causing all kinds of chaos in the braking zone. And again, he does another brake check to Mario right in front of me, which causes my car to get even more damage yet again. So at this point, I'm really quite angry with Kimi. And I know that some people say you should just let it go. But you know what? If we see another opportunity, we're going to take him out. However, someone has done the duty there and took Kimi out for us. So let's just watch that again. I love watching moments like this. And I think you'll agree, you probably had the same reaction as that crowd as you see Kimi going off the track, but we have more chaos there. And this is what I'm saying. Kimi in a race has a knock-on effect. It causes all kinds of chaos. 
people get annoyed with what he does and you just see even more cars taking people out and yeah just more craziness going on in this race very dirty race on this lap three luckily though i haven't been too badly affected we did lose a position or two there and we obviously got damage and he did frustrate me with brake checking me once and then he brake checks brake checked mario right in front of me which caused me to get damage again but he knew what he was doing he knew that if he brake checked mario it would have a knock-on effect to a number of drivers so yeah he's just out to cause trouble and when he's in that kind of mood i'm not going to tolerate him any longer on this game and you can criticize me all you like i really don't care if he's going to take me out and ruin races then i'm going to return the favor to him if he's going to race fair then i'll always race fair with him if he's going to drive fairly and not be stupid then as we see more chaos in the braking zone this is what i'm saying this race was just absolute mayhem luckily we got up to p8 with that but i think a driver missed his braking and just sent it right up the um, inside but yeah we managed to get to a p8 and yeah like i say if he's going to drive fair i will 100 drive fair with kimmy but if he's going to be silly as we're going to see again in the second race we're back into a race we've set a lap time this time and we're starting right behind him unfortunately we didn't get a good enough lap and i didn't really hook the lap up on the time trial and we're starting behind so you can see he's now in p3 we're in p4 let's see if kimmy is going to race this one fair or if he's going to be a bit silly or what is he what is he going to do in this one and remember while you're watching this don't forget to hit that like button subscribe to the channel let me know in the comment section what you think about Kimi. Why has PD not banned him? Obviously, I know some people think they don't ban people, but they actually do. The rumor is he has been banned multiple times, but he buys a new PS5. I don't know how many he's bought by this stage, but I'm guessing if it's true, then he must have bought more than one or two because he's still in the game and he's still causing absolute havoc in every single race. But you can see here, I'm up to P3. Not a bad start. We got past that McLaren there where he made a mistake. But you're going to see straight away. The problem with Kimi and races is people just don't trust him at all. And you can't really race with confidence around him. So keep an eye on Mario here. You can see straight away. Mario is just going to think he's going to try and take me out. So watch Mario's reaction. Stay really wide here. As he turns in, you can see he's turning to the left. Look, he's avoiding him. He's braking because he knows what Kimi's going to do. So he's very, very cautious. And now as I go around the outside here, we're going to give space on the inside and then we're going to try and get on the foot on nice and early and keep your eye on Kimmy's braking inputs yet again as we get onto the power section of this straight this point here now is flat out he brakes slams on the brakes right in front of me and i've just thought do you know what i was going to give him the benefit of the doubt he's just proved that he can't he cannot change he's here to cause chaos and it's time to send barry send not barry send Kimmy to barry r so keep an eye on this now as we're going down the straight he's causing all kind of chaos on the straight there as well going towards the pit we're going to go to the right fake him and we're going to get him and we're going to send him straight into barrier there and just look at that in the mirror what a lovely sight that is and i think you'll agree everyone loves seeing kimmy sliding into the barrier like that so let's have another watch of that again in the mirror and on the replay camera and let's see if you'll enjoy it as much as i want i really enjoy watching this a second time so again straight into the side and i think the crowd are going to enjoy this Absolute perfection. I think we all love seeing that from Kimmy, and he's out of this race now. So now we can actually get on with a race. He's not involved with this. We're down to P6, but who cares? At least we now know we've got drivers in front who are probably not going to take each other out, and we can actually have some form of racing for the next three laps. So Kimmy's out the way. We can finally get involved with a race, and some people might criticize you for saying, no, you shouldn't do that to them, but at the end of the day, PD are doing nothing about this. We've gave him multiple chances in that race. The first race, he done it to us twice. He went for a third time, brake checked me in the second race for the third time, and that was it. I'm not gonna just let him wreck my race and other races race every single time I join the lobby. So yeah, luckily no penalty as well. Shows you about the penalty system on this game. It seems to be the only way you're going to get a penalty is by missing your braking and going straight into the back of someone at the moment. I don't think the penalty system even recognises anything other than that. That seems to be what I noticed with this penalty system. So unless you hit them straight on in the rear, very rarely do you get any sort of penalty. So PD still need to work on that penalty system. I do think they've probably made it more lenient because in previous games it was way too aggressive, the penalty system. But you can see on the straight now, Picking up the slipstream to Andy there in the Ferrari 
and we're going to go into the slipstream, short shift to seventh gear in the McLaren because the McLaren you don't rev out, just for those that don't know, you shift it about 60%, 50 to 60%, it's faster doing that. Braking just after 154 and we're going to take that position up into P4, nearly tapped into P3 there, just about got it slowed down and we're still in P4, however we have got Andy on our left hand side in that Ferrari which is better on acceleration though. A little bit quicker on acceleration than McLaren. McLaren's a little bit faster on top end. So he's going to take that position back. However, we're going to then go back up the left-hand side and try and go round the outside. So some good racing going on now that Kimmy's out of the picture. We can actually have some fun. And this is what daily races are for. Good racing, side by side. And yeah, this is why we do daily races. We do not need Kimmy wrecking every single race. And again, still side by side. That Ferrari is going to have the acceleration to go back down the right-hand side. We're then going to have a bit better top end in the McLaren. Can we hold on to it on the outside? He's not. He's got too much acceleration, so he's back up into the braking zone and into P4. So good battle there, really fun racing, and that is why we get rid of Kimi out of this race, because now we can actually have some fun. He goes a little bit deep on the brakes there, but he manages to slow it down, and we got a side-by-side -side nearly for P2, P3, and now we're joining that battle for that podium position. So braking nice and early. Can we get on the power here for the straight? Trying to be careful that the rear doesn't go loose there. We did spin this McLaren at one point in one race there. And a little bit of a um, hit from, I think, the Ferrari onto the McLaren. Nothing deliberate, it just looked like that weird physics when the car brakes. It looks like a little bit of lag as well from um, Andy in that Ferrari. But we're sandwiched in now, so what we're going to do is we're just going to bump drive for the car in front because we can't turn to the right because we've got a Ferrari to our right hand side and we don't want to hit him. So give this car a little bump draft use the acceleration and the speed because we're in the slipstream and now we're going to go to the right hand side and go for a move in the braking zone so can we get ourselves up into that podium position as late as possible on the brakes onto the final lap and squeezing it up into p3 so a nice move there up into p3 and now we're going to see if we can get ourselves up into p2 you can see mario in the lead he's gone can't really challenge for that it's a very short race unfortunately pd four laps i personally think it would have been better with six laps but yeah PD do make some strange decisions with daily races which we'll get to when we do the review of this week's races which will be happening on Thursday night obviously I was very very busy on Tuesday I had a YouTube partner manager meeting so wasn't able to get that out on Tuesday night but the, the review of this week's races will go live on Thursday night so if you want to check that out make sure you're in the live stream on Thursday night and we're all going to watch that together in the premiere so in this race though you can see going down the inside can we go for a move there breaks a little bit early just trying to wrong foot him slightly nearly worked but he's defending quite well in p2 there and into the braking zone you can see holding the apex here onto the throttle and we're very very close to p2 and then into the braking zone he breaks a little bit too early there we're gonna tap him but then we get a little tap from the ferrari that unsettles the car and we drop way too far back there now we're down to nine tenths however he goes really, really slow into this corner, which gives me the massive amount of slipstream back. And we're going to get slipstream now and have a drag race to the finish. However, the car in front is going to start being a snake. And when someone starts doing this, I just get a bit frustrated and think, no, I'm not even going to follow you. So you can see he's going to weave all over the place. I thought, no, one or two moves, fair enough. But if you keep snaking down the straight, it's a little bit frustrating. So I just keep it in a straight line because I just can't be bothered with it. But yeah, a P3, Kimmy out the race, Kimmy into Barriar. Not a bad result in the end. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Let me know in the comment section what you think about Kimmy.